general relativity step by step. Last time I defined this uh, uh, Christoffel symbol here uh, as follows. You'll remember I was trying to work out what happened to basis vectors when you differentiated them with respect to their own coordinate system. And we had took a linear combination summed over k, and the free indices here are i and j. And this thing here I call the Christoffel symbol of the second kind. Now I'm going to show you how to use them. Let's just say we want to take a differential with respect to xj of a vector v. Well, that's just di. Oops, that's just di by di xj of v i e i equals and what all I'm doing here is using u v dash equals u dash v plus u v dash die v and I've done this about four times and I've got it wrong each time so I'm going to have to be a bit more careful here I was thinking I was going a bit too quickly die x j v i e no, I've got a V there already. Let's try that again. That's E I plus V I di E I by di X J equals di V I by di X J E I plus V I. And now I can use my Christoffel symbol here summed over a K, let's say. What have I got left? I've got an I and a J down there, an I and a J down there. Equals di V I by di X J E I. I'm getting a bit tense here because this is where I carry on made, making mistakes before. What I want to do is to factorize this, so I want to turn that into an E I. So I've called it K here, I'm going to have to call that an I. And what I've called I here, I'm going to have to call something else. I'm going to call it L. L and the J is the same. So what have I done to go from here to here? I've changed the K to an I, and I've changed the I to an L, just because I can. Aha! Now, I can factorise it. Di V I by Di X J plus V L, Christoffel symbol, I L J. And this is what I called Di Vector V by Di X J. So this thing here are the components of a contravariant vector because I've decomposed them into their components that uh, have to be multiplied by your basis vectors here. So we write that in quite a... We, th th this is a new thing. If I want to write this in coordinate... I've, I've written it as a vector here, rate of change of a vector. But if I want to write it as a coordinate system here, we've, we, we, uh, we write it in a rather... Peculiar, there's different ways to write it. I'll write down one way of writing it. It's di j v i equals di v i by di x j. I'm just copying that there. Plus v l i l j. Because what I'm doing is I'm expanding both sides, the left and the right, in terms of the basis vectors e i. This thing here is called a covariant derivative. And it's equal to the normal, the usual derivative, or the straightforward derivative, derivative, plus an extra thing here caused by the coordinate bases changing. Coordinate bases changing from point to point. Right. Uh, at this point, I'm going to reveal that there are a whole bunch of different notations. I'm going to write that. I'm going to write it out again. Uh, I might I haven't quite decided which notation to use for the rest of the, the course. But let me just write out what I've written. Di j v i equals di v i by di x j plus v l Christoffel symbol 
I, J, L. This is notation I've seen. Other notations that I have seen are as follows. V, I, comma, J equals di, V, I by di, X, J plus V, L, I, J, L. I've seen that notation before. The, this, these are the same thing. Or, or I'm going to write down the same equation in different notation. I have seen, let me get this right, I have seen that J, V, I equals the same thing. The one that's, I guess, most common is this. V, I and a, a semicolon J equals V, I with a comma J plus the Christoffel symbol stuff. I, J, L. Um, this thing here Covariant derivatives are written with a semicolon and then the uh, coordinate you're differentiating it with respect to. And here it, it's written, I'll just neaten it up a little bit, um, it's written with a comma. So that's a semicolon that looks like that. And this one here is written with a comma, which just it's just a comma. Now, I don't like that because the only way to differentiate this guy from this guy here is uh, a single small oops, a single small dot uh, on, a suit, on a subscript, which is pretty painful, frankly. But I just want you to be aware that there are lots and lots of different notations around here. Um, the beauty of it is that this thing, I semicolon J, which equals grab J V I, which equals di J V I, which equals what else was there? Uh, oh, there's other notations as well. These are ten. This a tensor. By construction, because we spent all that time faffing around with the Christoffel symbol, the differential. Th this is not a tensor, but this thing is. It's a tensor, so we can use it to tensor equations. It makes sense in general relativity. Fantastic stuff. I'm going to stop there before I get myself too confused. Stop.